took this job to spite you. <laughs> the warden will see you now. And that is, of course, a scene from Capote. Academy Award winner Philip Seymour Hoffman found dead in his apartment this weekend. Shocking a lot of people because, um, well, there's quite a bit of reaction happening online. And Winston joins us now with a bit of that. And it's interesting with what we're seeing people post when it comes to the reaction from his death. Absolutely. When the story broke yesterday, um, uh, you know, I posted the um, the news on Facebook, mm -hmm. and immediately there was a, a huge thread of conversation uh, on our Facebook page. And uh, what was interesting to me was seeing the divide between what people were thinking. Um, and there's a huge conversation about, um, you know, the drug overdose and the attention being given to right. uh, this situation. So uh, I've pulled in some tweets, okay. just some reaction um, from people. You know, people are this basically encapsulates a lot of what people are saying you know such a waste another a great talent lost to the world through drug addiction mm -hmm. but back to what I was saying about the the divide between whether this is a drug addiction or whether this was something that is done by choice that is where there's a huge conversation you know someone here crystal said uh, you know I've battled depression for years and I'm not a drug addict but if people chose drugs then that's their choice so this person is on the side that it's by choice Okay, so, and like you said, you're sort of seeing a split with people saying, is it, is it the celebrity treatment? Because exactly. Philip Seymour Hoffman was this A-list star. Uh, would we be giving the same attention had he not been one? And that is what people are saying. We're giving celebrities far too much attention. But mm -hmm. people, are all, people are also, you know, coming to his defense uh, mm -hmm. by saying, um, you know, sad that some um, think that they can judge circumstance you don't know and obviously don't understand the pull of addiction and they're comparing it to uh, a magnet always pulling you trying to drag you to the edge of the cliff and uh, rest in peace thank you for uh, the incredible memory so th that that is a lot of what people are saying as well you know regardless it is sad to see anyone go under yeah. these circumstances and it's um it's tough to see because he was such an incredible actor he was such a great talent and at such a young age too and, the past, and leaving behind children leaving and behind what? children and of course people uh, that you know many Hollywood yeah. uh, stars and celebrities are sounding off as well um, just a few tweets here um, Steve Martin shocked to hear of um, Philip Seymour Hoffman's death um, another one from uh, who's this from Jesse Tyler Ferguson from City's Modern, uh, Modern yeah. Family so incredibly sad to hear of one of my favorite actresses has passed rest in peace um, another one here from uh, Leah Thompson, it looks like addiction took another great person. It doesn't have to happen. Sometimes there are miracles. And I think this is where uh, the conversation continues. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to happen. What steps do you take to prevent this from happening down the road? Right. Uh, and coming up a little bit later, we'll be talking to Brad Smith about more mm -hmm. celebrity reaction. I just went over just a few minutes ago, looked at his filmography, and incredible uh, that his career has spanned so long and, and such a short time to his, his accomplishments. accomplishments. Yeah. Absolutely. So we'll discuss that a little bit with Brad in entertainment. Thank you very much, Thank Winston. You. Let's go over to Russ. He's upstairs.